Kagoo. The map is Battleground, and I am undead. This is a 4 versus 4 on Warcraft 3. RT. And at least I'm green. That's something. So let's have a look, shall we? I'm going to be undead. I'm not going to get graveyard straight off. I want a fairly quick altar. I want to perhaps do a couple of green spots and then harass. Let's get this altar down. There it is. I wonder if the hero spawns here and gets stuck or something like that. You've always got to be suspicious and careful and cautious and mm, paranoid maybe. So we've got those going down. Back peon. Possibly barracks and then headhunters. No, shop, so maybe fast tech. And we've got Jack as a knight off, Ancient of War and such and such. I wish only to serve. So archers for him and Ah. The other undead hasn't got himself a graveyard yet either. Now he has. So maybe I'll just do that too. There's not really great spots to put a graveyard down to be honest in this place but I might put a slightly offensive graveyard out there and hope that I don't get too pressured. We can but hope. Probably build another acolyte just to scout since it hasn't been done yet and I do like to see what people are doing. It's interesting he's giving me gold now. A little late but I'll just say thank you anyway. I think it's safest to go for a Nerubian tower especially being on the outside which reminds me to try and get some cigarettes up on the top side of my necropolis near the graveyard so I can get Nerubian tower there as well so that will help defend that graveyard. Still going on ghouls. I haven't got my time of relics yet though. Don't particularly need it just yet. What's the acolyte gonna get? My fate is sealed. Oh what TK? I don't remember being TK. And I'm dead next to me. My fate is And he's done the same sort of thing as well. I'm just gonna keep going with ghouls and harass the undead because it might not be too late to at least get a call on one of the guys. Is he feeding me? I'm going to attack. I think he's trying to feed me. This is a nondescript feed. Why are you backing off? <gasps> get the stone of strength. What was that about anyway? Uh, just to help the mana. Nothing to coil at this point. Let's keep going with that acolyte. Yeah, be a little bit careful here. Alright, um, start making fiends I suppose now. Get those cigarettes there at the top. Just be careful. Didn't want uh, him coiling it as well. I wasn't trying to be bad mattered there, it seemed that way. Looks like I'm going to be going fast frostworms then if I'm going to be getting fed. It's the secret feed. There's another undead though. The acolyte didn't get much further. So I'm not sure what else is going down. Ghouls can probably start creeping for me a little bit, but I don't particularly necessarily want that because I don't want them dropping items that someone else is going to pick up when they get there. Ooh. What are we going to see up here? Human, maybe? Stormbolt, Stormbolt, Stormbolt. No, it's a human. Just go heavy on this uh, Archmage. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it, to be honest. If I had the Blade Master with me, it definitely would be, but I'm going to back off for now. Blade Master's at the top with the other undead. He's given up on me. He's tired of me. Are we going to try and do this? We could do this as a team. One of these fiends has gone the really long way round, chasing down after my death knight. You'll get to me eventually. I mind stealing uh, some orc items. Those could be useful for later. How did he die? 
Oh dear. Didn't creep too well, apparently. My patience has ended. Your choice. Right. Tech almost done. These ghouls are doing well. Just gonna tech straight up again and then the next thing can be Lich after that. Might want to get a web actually first, just so I know I've got it. I've only got a few fiends, but it's better than nothing. Back pee on here. Wanted to go very heavy on the uh, feed, feed a Malik. Don't want to tank too much with those. At least the blade mask can tank a little bit and then get healed up, so that's not too bad. You can tank those ogres pretty nicely, and then my death knight can do the same, and I can coil, uh, coil my own death knight. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Imagine doing that. Right, there's time of agility for you. I'm not sure what dropped. It got picked up already. What are we doing? We're we doing that, I guess. Let's get lich. Okay, no one wants to come do this spot. I'll just do it myself then. The teamwork just stopped. Just died. Oh, great. Just as I start that, I'm going to get harassed, apparently. Oh, there's two. There's a lot of fiends. But it's not easy for them to harass me here. There's three in there. So they're going for me a bit here. They don't want to commit too much though, because it's not a pretty base to attack, is it, really? Undead. They're going to try their luck elsewhere. They've got a large army! They've got a large army! They're ready to do some damage, to be honest. I'm going to try and keep them at me though, or at least upset them enough that I can buy enough time. That's a lot of range though, so Frostworms are going to have to be pretty damn kick-ass <laughs> to deal with that. How many coils you got? Oh, you got a lot. Could go for the uh, Archmage though. Should have become available. But it's not becoming available. Not at the moment. Oh, okay, I got my tier 3. But I haven't got many resources past that point, so I'm not being super heavily fed. So you can't really truly call this a feed game. It's really difficult when someone gives you resources because you don't know if you're being fed properly or not. They really don't like that. Let's try and get Bone Yard up before it's too late. Can't really take all of this by myself. Trying to do some damage to the Death Knight. He's not got coiled yet. That's because he hasn't got much left to coil with. Could get that DK actually if I try hard enough. Oh! Got it! Got to run back though myself. <gasps> don't coil! Uh, don't know for me. Okay, we'll try and go a bit heavy on these frost ones now. So hopefully they'll start to kick ass a bit. Benefiting from uh, the nice little... Uh... Has he been feeding both by any chance? No. Yeah. We're doing okay. I really want Orb of Corruption actually. I wanted to get that earlier but I couldn't quite... I had to make sure I had a TP. Even though I was in my own base, you've got to kind of make sure you've got a TP just in case anything happens. And you're sorted for that. I'm doing well for wood though. I'm not going to worry about that for ghouls. Uh, sure to try and pick this item up. Not bad at all. Good item for me. Ooh. Okay, something for us to attack. 
I can get two frost worms as well, the way I've built things, food wise as well. That's all worked out very nicely. I've got gold enough just for two. Could go heavy on the tinker, but he's got the TP, so we'll go on the footman instead, try and get some experience from those. Not too worried about actually forcing him into TP, even though he's doing good damage, because this is all free experience as far as I'm concerned. I wonder if these little buggers give experience. So, Frostworm shouldn't be too long. I've got nothing left to creep at the bottom, so I've got to be careful when my Frostworms try to rally to me. Meanwhile, I'm actually going to take a ghoul and just sort of put it in the middle of the map to make sure I don't get screwed over too much. Keep going on the upgrades. Mm, let's start healing that up. Uh, yellow's behind. Good opportunity to go heavy on the Tinker now. Because he is vulnerable and probably still has the TP. And it's going to have to get back soon. You can chase that fiend all you want. There we go. Nice little force TP. Frostworms should be out and making their way soon. Ooh. A couple of Quivens being caught out here. Ghoul not spotting anything too naughty. Oh no, that's right. I told you to go and creep, didn't I? I hate it when the mobs do that. You've got to be so careful. Still going on this. I've got a Nova here to use, so that's pretty damn nifty. I can coil him up, so all of that damage is for Nault. Let's Nova that and go for the Lich. Ooh, down you go. And that's a nice little slow as well. Okay, let's get some more upgrades, then some more cigarettes. Yes, TP quickly. Try and get a few kills, maybe. If I could catch a couple of the uh, units out, that's it, get in there. Alright, we'll get the uh, Pit Lord at the very least. That's a given. Oh, he's got a TP as well, has he? Okay, well he's going to use TP, but all these units yeah. are still running away. Our town is and someone else is being attacked? No. I could keep going for him for the moment. I'm going to have to buy myself another TP, though, whilst I sort of commit here, as it were. Because once they TP, I'm going to want to get back as well. There we go, they're TPing in now. So I just back off, basically. Don't want to get caught out by that. Research complete. And we keep looking elsewhere for things to do. Might get ghoul frenzy because I can eventually bring those ghouls out. See if anyone needs uh, wood. Nope. 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 Well, those ghouls are kind of useless then. I might even want to lose a few, so actually I'm going to grab a few ghouls. Make them part of my army. I'm not too happy about attacking an undead base. I'd rather do the creep spot first, which has been done by the looks of it. Now, Oh, we've got something in the middle going on. Whee! That's more like it. You got a TP? You do? But how many units can you lose before you actually get to use your TP? That's the question. Oh, good chunk. And I'm going to not TP to that just yet. We're going to move, because we're all as one group at the moment anyway. Once I get one more cigarette down and the right amount of resources, I'll get two more frostworms to tick out. That's a lot of fiends, but then again, they're going to get picked off quickly. Because they haven't got much in the way of armor, they've gone heavy on the damage. Oh, I see, you've got a couple of you. Let's try and go for the... Well, we've got to still go for these fiends. I'm just making sure to try and coil when possible. I'm not even losing these ghouls. They, got, they almost got killed, and then they just didn't die. This is going incredibly well. Very well under control, I would say. And, um, yeah. Now we can move into perhaps the human space again. Because it's closest and it's easier. And I'm still getting to the point where I'm almost there to build another couple of Frosties. I've played it cool at the moment. Got my resources under control. 
Ready to lose. Oh, there's a free kill. Let's have you. Unless you got staff for sanctuary. No. Let's see if we can kill anything else that the human has for the moment before anyone TPs. As soon as someone TPs, then I'll be more curious. To there we go. Get myself in a bit of a position. We've got necromancers, so we've got to work with that. Unfortunately, Bakion got himself a little bit caught, caught there. Very overly committed, but luckily for us, all those fiends are bunched up. It looks like Bakion's getting back. <laughs> so, I'm not so sure how long I want to stay here and lose everything. Getting a couple more Frostworms. I'm getting back simply because he TP'd. It's a bit of a bad commitment at the moment. So, we've got to have everyone there, otherwise I'm not going to be too sure on how the outcome is going to go. Let's try and do some more creeping. Unfortunately, I lost one of my frosties, but I've got full upgrades now, and I'm still underneath the food cap, so as soon as I get those two frost worms out, another two will follow after that, and I'll have a decent chunk of them. They're still fighting over here. They can do it. I'm not saying they couldn't do it. They could definitely do it, but... I think that we definitely, if one TPs and you're stuck like this, in that kind of position, you don't really want to take the risk and lose everything. Not when we've clearly been winning this game. Don't want to throw it away. That'd be silly. Starting to get a little low on wood, but everyone else has got so much. Oh, you sneaky bugger, you're doing that red spot. That's the last one left to do. Hey, I've got a spot there. What do you know? Two more Frosties to bang out. I hope they don't get too much anti-air soon. I'm going to have to force a TP here. Not really much I can kill. Oh, some ghouls would do nicely. Not sure if we really want to save that expansion. I hope no one TPs to it, because that would be pretty much suicide. Going for this base, see if I can force a TP. He's currently moving back. If he does TP come back, then I'm going to be encouraged to go to purple. Let's try and get this gold mine down so if nothing else, he's going to have no income for a while. Oh, that's just a ghoul. I wonder what that was. It's going for purple, maybe? This is some good harass because I've not managed to make them TP, but they've basically walked all the way down here. I still don't even see them yet. Oh no, they're there yet. Right, I've got to wait for these two frostworms before TP. So I've got to move to the right so I can join with my army and then TP up. Right, here we go. Got to wait for everyone else. See if I can get some wood. I know people have got a stupid amount of wood, so that would help me out a lot. But there you go. I can't really build any more frostworms until that wood comes through. Let's just go super heavy on these knights since I can kill them. Right, for the moment, now we're going to move on to Frostworms perhaps next. Ugh, a bit messy. I'll ask for wood again. I hope those archers are focusing nicely because my frost ones are getting battered. I think we're doing very well at the moment. Yes. Oh, that was a beautiful arc there. A lot of the uh, bloodlusted range units. Quite rightfully so. I don't think we ever should have lost that game or came close to it. We definitely dominated that one. And there you go. Nice. Ooh, a lot of units produced for yellow. So that's all the uh, Tinker's Pocket Factory uh, 
Can't remember what they're called now. Whatever they are, tinkerers, something like that. Managed to get himself up to level five. Level six. Didn't see the blade storm though. Maybe there was no mana for it. That's always a bit of a pain because wind walk is so good. You use it so much, and then you, when you do hit level six, you're like, oh god, I need like 200 on mana to cast this blade storm as well. Good chunk of gold mine, but otherwise everyone else sitting around the same amount. Yes, nicely done. Okay, thank you very much for watching. This has been Witty. Please subscribe, like, and comment.